Hey, 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 family, it's your girl Evelyn, and I am back with another video because you know, if I don't do nothing else, I'm going to shop that dog on Sephora haul. <laughs> so let's get into what I bought. So let me say this. This is going to be one of two hauls because I purchased some things in store twice. We're going to get into that. And then I purchased some things online. So I'm not going to do the whole, do you know what a Sephora sale is? Whatever, because you've seen 575 Sephora videos. You're here because you, you want to see what I bought. You want to see the goods. You know, you want to see if you bought what I bought if, or if I bought something that you've been thinking about, all that kind of stuff. And I will have everything that I purchased in the description box below. I am Rouge, which means I got to shop early, which also means I got to take 20% off. Um, I will say this, this year has been interesting with the Sephora sale. The website has been crashing. The app has been crashing. So, um, what I do is I like to go into store, into the store before the sale. I already kind of know what I want. I want to swatch things. I want to look at them again, all that kind of stuff. And then when the sale, when the sale opens, I like to go in store, buy the things that I can buy in store and then place an order online. And that is what I have done. I probably should have did a wish list video so could y'all would have seen what I bought versus what I said I was gonna buy and what I said I wasn't gonna buy. But here we go. Okay, let's start with the Big Mama bag. Okay, and I do set a budget for myself, so I'm not out here just wilding. Um, let's just start with some of the not so. I don't want to say all of this is interesting. Let me just start with this. I picked up the Pharmacy Tea Harvest Glean Clean Trio Cleansing Balm. I enjoy the pharmacy cleansing balm. What's hilarious is I just don't like the original scent of the of the plain cleansing balm. So when they drop these for holidays, I always pick up one. And so um, I had finished the three from last year, maybe about a month or so ago, and um, was using an unscented one that I had bought for travel. And yeah, y'all, so this is, I want to show you the size of these because... I can go ahead and um, pull these out since I'm doing the video. Um, so these are not full size. These are kind of like travel size. So you have a warm vanilla chai. You have a wild raspberry tea and a chamomile rose latte. These are very like subtly scented. Where like last year when it was like blueberry and something else, those were a little bit more scent forward. I really, really enjoy the scents of these. Um, can't wait to use these. But this is the size so not a mini um by any stretch of the imagination but a not the big daddy big mama tub and so i think this was i don't i don't know it says um, a 72 two dollar value but i i know i didn't pay 72 dollars for this i don't know i'll have all the links to everything down below but pick this up i'm excited about that i also speaking of in between sizes, y'all, I have never tried the Fenty Skin but body butters, body whipped oils, whatever the case may be. So I picked up, this is the Little Butter Drops Mini Whipped Oil Body Cream Trio from Fenty. I've actually never tried anything from Fenty Skin. So inside of here are the th are three um, mini body butters. I believe this is the original this is warm cinnamon shimmering and this is vanilla dream shimmering. When I bought this, I did not not know that they were shimmering, but the shimmer is so subtle like it doesn't bother me. They smell fantastic. So, here is the this is the vanilla. This is the what is this? The warm Oh no, this is the warm cinnamon shimmer, shimmering. This is the original and then this is the vanilla shimmering so let me smell this you know i normally am not a vanilla scent person but recently um i i don't know if my my nose has changed or whatever but i have really been enjoying vanilla as a base under a lot of things that i'm wearing particularly for the colder months right so not necessarily vanilla leading the charge as far as the scent notes but it almost kind of sitting as me creating like another base note level and this is this one is the one for me the cinnamon the warm cinnamon yeah these are a good size i will say this i've dipped my toe in because at first i was like you know for for what you pay for it i was like 
Ooh, am I going to go through these quickly? When I say a little goes a long way, okay? Um, and actually, the original is not too bad, you know? Um, so if I if I end up liking how it performs on my body, uh, in the future, I may buy a full size of this. They did also have the full size, I believe, of this one, which is the Warm Cinnamon. Apparently, word on the street is the girls be snatching these up um because they are limited edition but um so i think this might be the first <laughs> fenty purchase of any kind where i've actually enjoyed i've tried so many things from fenty beauty um that i wanted to get into and just never could but this 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 fenty skin might might do the trick okay speaking of vanilla i also picked up a um eau de parfum from Ellis Brooklyn's Brooklyn and Vanilla Milk. I have smelled a lot of um, vanilla perfumes and did not like them. But this vanilla milk, oh, I think it's the milk, right? That just, it just rounds it off and makes it super soft. And y'all, I, cause I had a, um, a sample, I think I had a sample of this or I had a sample of another vanilla. And there were some fragrances that I had that I was falling out of love with but then I when I layered them with a little bit of vanilla I was like "Ooh, it it a whole new world so I picked this up I thought about getting the full size in this but let me tell you why I did because the past year or two Sephora has their sale their annual savings event and then like a couple of weeks behind that they'll come behind and have a 30% off fragrance sale so you know and plus I may ask for this for you know a a birthday or a holiday gift but i wanted to have it right now as we are starting to move into the cooler months some of y'all have already been into the cooler months we're just now getting there in texas so pick that up and then i also picked up um the danessa myrix yumming skin blurring balm powder in an actual color i picked up color number 10 so if you don't know i use let me pull it out i use the danessa myrix blurring balm powder as a primer in the shade universal like this is translucent and i have it on under my makeup today and so she came out with some new shades and i i i enjoy the primer so much that i was like i really want to try it as a foundation so i went ahead and i picked up shade number 10 i want to show you what it looks like um I'm hoping it's not too yellow for me, but I think it's a good shade match. That's probably a better uh, representation of the color. So I'm excited. Should I swatch it? I think I should swatch it on my hand. Feels exactly the same. So that's that's it on my hand. And if I were to blend it out, it might not be too bad. I can just, you know, for those days when I want to know makeup, makeup look, I can just throw that on and be on my way. Now, I apologize. I'm pulling out a makeup wipe because there might be some, it might be some swatching going on here in a second. So let me just go ahead and wipe that off. Anyway, okay, let's keep going. So this is all the stuff that I picked up on the first day of the sale. I also picked up two palettes. Y'all, I'm going to tell you. I had told myself that I was not going to get these palettes. And then I started watching YouTube videos and it, those doggone YouTube videos. So I picked up the Danessa Myricks Defining Neutrals Groundwork Palette. And I also picked up the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 5. Now... Let me let me just let me just walk you through how I, how I landed here with a hundred and twenty five dollar palette and a sixty five dollar palette. So I had been looking at the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions Three eyeshadow palette that's all matte, and I was like, this and that are very similar, right? This one is five dollars cheaper. This one has cream and powder. Patrick's has two powders and creams, but he goes more brown and gray and this is like brown and cream and, and black and he has you know a cream black in there uh and a matte black and i love his format i have his other two palettes i have major dimension one i have major dimensions two i enjoy them i love having a a family of palettes together and i had convinced myself that i wasn't going to get either one 
And then I was like, I have been just wearing a lot more neutral looks lately. Um, it's weird. It's like it's either super neutral or it's very colorful. Like there's been very, very little middle ground. And so I picked this up. Let me open it up. I, you know, I'm still on the fence about this one. Um, it's beautiful. I swatched it in store. It's the format that is throwing me. I don't, can I even get this open? Hold, please. Oh, here we go. The packaging is stunning, right? Like, if you, here's my thing. If you're going to do press board, this is how you do press board. Anyway, so this is the palette. Gorgeous. I feel like there's a little bit of bloom on one of these, but this is the palette. And so apparently you can use this on eyes brows, face, lips, I probably am going to live from here on down, right? Um, I And here's the thing, because I've been doing a lot less um, liquid eyeliner, at the top I've been using like brown powders, black powder, or something softer, creams, things like that. I was like, ooh, this could be a end all be all for me and I could also use it for eyeshadow deepening the crease because a lot of times I find myself dipping into different palettes to get the brown to get the black to get the like to get different shades and I was like you know I could have it all in one place I don't know if I needed this one I'm gonna be honest with you it's beautiful I love Danessa Myricks Kind of still thinking about the Patrick Top one. I'm not even gonna hold you. And I haven't really been doing a ton of makeup shopping throughout the year because I think I realized for me that as much as I love makeup and I, I still want to play in it and makeup is a hobby for me and it brings me so much joy that I really enjoy participating in the Sephora sale twice a year and then just playing with what I have in between right like there's a few things that may come out or a few things that I'm like I don't want to wait on or that I may need throughout the course of the year but outside of that I really kind of like waiting for the sale so I picked that up now let me tell you this one I I had I I saw this and I was like oh I've got her light work um um three the experience palette right so i didn't get the big light work three because i was i was new to the game at that point so i have her light work three palette stunning as you can see it does get used and then i also have her light work volume four which i enjoy tremendously because when i was building my makeup collection a couple years ago i was like i really like multi chromes because i feel like you know you could put a base shadow on a brown a black or whatever and then you can just tap a multi chrome on and it looks like you have done a lot with that with by doing very little and so when this came out this is um volume 4 i i did not hesitate i picked this up and as you can see also it gets use right and um Yes. Do I be out here walking around with multi-chrome eyeshadows on on a random day? I do because I work for myself and I can do that. The thing about these colors, which I appreciate, is they are very intense. They are very, very, very bright, vibrant. But because of that, there were times where I wanted a multi-dimensional look. But I was like, if I put this on, this is all you're going to see. Like no matter how light of a tap I do, this is all you're going to see. So when Lightworks 5 came out, I saw the colors and I was just like, hmm, you know, I saw the pictures online. I was like, okay, it's nice. Do I need another multi-chrome palette? I was like, you know, there were a couple of multi-chrome shades in the multi-chrome universe that I, I don't have and that I was intrigued about. And I was like, I could go to indie brands, but I really don't like single eyeshadows, yada, yada, yada. And then this came out and I was like, I don't know if I need an, another big honking multi-chrome palette. And then I watched Alicia Archer, AKA Kinky Sweat. Hey girl, hey, if you're watching. And it was a wrap. I, she swatched these shades and play, and I was just like, dag nabbit. So I took my little self into Sephora and I, I was like, I'm not even gonna swatch it. Like, I'm not even gonna swatch because I'm not getting, I'm not getting, I'm not getting it. Child, one of the sales associates there was like, just go swatch it. Like, you just, she was like, it's limited edition. You know how Denessa Myricks is. Once it's gone, it's gone, etc. So here is the palette. 
out of the package. Stunning. Colors are very representative of what's inside. And when I tell you, I went over to that area. I swatched it. And I swatched this one particular shade and was like, gotta have it. Because these colors... They're multi-chrome, but they are a lot more subtle and a lot more everyday wearable. I'm gonna I'm, so the shade that I swatched was Unstoppable, which is this one right here where my thumb is. I'm gonna swatch it for you. And when I swatched it, I know it doesn't look like much. When I swatched it, I was like, this is going to give me the most subtle multi-chrome look on the. I know I don't know. It's it looks frosty on camera, but it is like this pink-ish brown base. Uh, it It's gorgeous. Anyway, and I, I, I was sold at that moment. I was like, put it in a cart, put it in a cart. And so I was like, Evelyn, if you're going to get it, now is the time to get it. So I ended up swatching some other shades in here, and I just do like... It's a wrap. So particularly like these four shades right here, some of the ones across the middle. I uh, Can you see that these four shades right here, some of the ones across the middle. I knew some of the ones across the top were going to be a little bit frosty. So, you know, maybe more of a layering moment. Um, but stunning, stunningly gorgeous. So I will say this. I, 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 at one point in time, I fancied myself to want to be an eyeshadow palette, palette collector. And I let go of those. Like, I was like, oh, I want to collect all the Pat McGrath palettes. Or I want to collect all the Natasha Denona, Denona palettes. I'm not, ne ne I'm not there. And I'm, I'm glad I never went down that path. I mean, I do have several from both brands. But I very quickly realized that I was not going to be utilizing those. And so, I stopped. But if this is going to be her holiday drop every year and it's gonna be my play palette might be a thing so that is what I got when I went to the sale and I thought okay I will go home and then whatever wasn't in store I will order the app kept crashing things like that right so I was finally able to place my order for the remaining things on my list that night then I got to watch some YouTube videos the next day of people and their hauls and I took my behind back to the store. <laughs> Y'all. So first, I just want to say I got some samples from Sephora. Shout out to like decent samples. I've got I got these two nourishing moisture, nourishing English, Evelyn, nourishing moisture. Um, I think these are face creams, like decent size. Like they're not open because they're um, sealed, but like these are great samples so i was like oh if i like these these would be great for travel i also got a full size mascara as a sample from sephora so i'm hype about that then um i just picked up some um sephora moisturizing cleansing wipes in the watermelon so sometimes when i'm not on camera i like to come in here and i like to play in makeup and sometimes i need a makeup wipe and so i just wanted to pick some of these up to have in my drawer okay y'all so I picked up another palette. Now, this palette was on my original wish list, but because I picked up the Des Danessa, Myrick Danessa Myrick's palettes, I was like, I'm not going to get this. And I will, I will say this brand has come up with a, a lot of palettes this year that while they look super interesting to me, I knew that they wouldn't work on me. And this is not a brand that I gravitate to a lot. I think I have only have two other palettes from them. Um, and it's the ABH Fall Rim from Romance Palette. Now, let me tell you why I picked this palette up. And I think I'm going to get so much use out of it. A lot of people talked about how dark this palette was. Well, when you are rich, complected like I am, you need darkness, right? Like to show up as just like a regular shadow. So I remember when this first came out, I was very intrigued. One, because it had these deep greens. Oh, I didn't realize that the palette was like furry. Um, it had these deep greens in it that sometimes when I want to wear a green eyeshadow, I don't always want to put it on a brown base or a black base. And I was like, I don't have any green eyeshadows. And I enjoy green eyeshadows where like 
the background is green, but it's not like electric green. And I remember I was so intrigued by that. And then I was like, it's got this deep crimson. It's got this deep midnight purple. It's got this ember, this mulberry shade. And I was like, this may look super deep for other people. This is very everyday for me. Like this, this level of depth, particularly like this, this area right here and this shape like I was like oh I can really rock with that and then this looks a little frosty but this tapped on that is stunning right so like let me just show you I'm going to swatch uh well let me just show you that what I mean by the deep green so I'm going to swatch twilight which is right here right and I'm just going to swatch it on my hand so I'm going to put it right there it looks almost like black brown but i'm gonna blend it a little bit right okay so blend that and then what i'm gonna do is this color crown okay um see if you can see that it looks greenish goldish i'm gonna just tap into that right looks super frosty but when i put it on top of that dark green look what it does do you see? And so the depth of that, now let me swatch it on its own without that dark green base. It looks super frosty, but look at how it looks on here, right? And I'm going to swatch, um, oh, let me see if I can find a brown, a brown eyeshadow. So let me see. I'm going to go into, okay, I'm going to Pat McGrath. I'm going to grab this brown, right? I'm going to swatch that on my hand right blend it out a little bit and i'm gonna take that same green crown and i'm gonna tap it on top you see how it's even lighter but look so look what i can do so i like i saw this palette and i was like oh this is about to be a game changer for me in colored eyeshadows because of the depth level of the bases of the colors right um and then there's this like this super deep let me um I'm wiping my fingers off here. There's this super deep, like, purple here. Let me swatch that for y'all. Is my finger dry? I'm going to use my pinky. Oh, it's so nice. Let me just swatch that. I don't have a lot of eyeshadows in my collection that on my skin tone can work as one and done without looking very bright and frosty. So a lot of people, when they do one and done eyeshadows, the shadows are a little bit deeper than their skin tone, right? Um, and it just looks like a one and done. Outside of like browns and blacks, I didn't have a lot of that. And so I was like, oh girl, this is cute or whatever. Um, I don't have to wear this tomorrow. Let's see, let me swatch Mulberry here, right? So... Look at this. This is, uh, right, let me just, I'll just go across the bottom here. As a one and done, look at this. It's deep enough to be one and done without, and I mean, I, and I barely had, I barely swatched it, okay? It's deep enough to serve as one and done eyeshadow colors for me that are not black and brown, right? Um, and the only thing that's missing from this palette is like navy. Okay, so let me swatch ember for you too, because I think this is a go. This is this color up here in the up here in the corner. Let me let me see if I can swatch that for you. So let's just go. Look at that, like the sparkle. So if I want a barely there eye, it's like my skin tone, but with sparkle. You know, so I was like, how often do I have that? And I'm not just wearing a matte eye. So anyway, pick that up and I couldn't be more happy about it. I think I'm going to get so much use. I know I'm going to get so much use out of this. So if you start seeing me with green smoky eye looks, you're like, girl, that's that fall romance. So I picked that up. And then I originally was going to pick up, let me wipe my hand off here. So those are all the swatches, but I'm still stuck on, look at how that green looks on the green versus how it looks on the brown versus how it looks by itself that is stunning um 
So I have been in the market for a royal blue eyeshadow. I wanted to do a royal eyeshadow, a royal blue eyeshadow look one day and realized I did not have a royal blue eyeshadow in my entire collection. And I was contemplating the, um, the new Natasha Denota five pan. I realized I don't enjoy small eyeshadow palettes. I don't like super big ones either. I like 10 to 15 shades it's kind of like the sweet spot um however i do i say i don't like single eyeshadows unless they are like a liquid shadow these are also for a brand okay so when i go back on the second day i realize i see some new eyeshadow sticks from sephora that weren't there the day before and y'all they had this this is look at look at this color I'm going to swatch it for you. Brand new. They had discontinued some of their other shades. Look at this blue. Look, look, look at this blue. That is exactly the color that I was looking for. So their old pencils, which I have, or their old eyeshadow sticks, I have two of those. Not in love with. Let me show you. So let me put the lid back on this one before I drop it really quickly. So these are their previous eyeshadow sticks and um they don't twist up like you have to sharpen them um super chunky kind of dry these are it right I had it in brown and black they discontinued these and came out with this these you can twist up and twist down they come with a sharpener on the end and like look at the design so I saw this. So this is like a this is like a matte blue. I saw this and I ended up picking up. <laughs> this is a um like a deep green, and then I picked up a, a dark brown and a black because this is perfect for smudgy liner, perfect for the outer corner. Let me see if I can open um let me see if I can open these and so you can, so I can swatch them for you. Give me one second. Okay, so I picked up four shades and I wanted to swatch them for you. So I've already swatched the blue which, and I've already played with a little bit. It is stunning and it is fantastic for wanting to do, if you want to do a little pop of color under the waterline. And I want to say this, I want to explain why I picked up these three shades because similar to what I was talking about with the Danessa Myricks Multichrome Palette, sometimes I want to do that like under the eye, you know, shadow look, but the eyeliners are too bright. Like it's just supposed to be a little set of, a hint of color. And sometimes they're so vibrant that that it draws the attention to that part when I want it to be just like a little subtle, like if you catch it, if you catch it. So let me swatch this green for you. This is in, the, this color is called Army Green Matte. Like they don't even have like crazy names. Like this color is called Cobalt Shimmer. Oh, so there is a little bit of a shimmer. Okay, it's stunning. Um, so this is Army Green Matte, same format, if you can see the tip of that. And I'm just going to look at, look at, look at the green. Can you imagine under the eye? Can you imagine with that ABH palette with the dark green? Are you catching the vibe here? And they're so creamy. Like these are so good. I could toss them other ones out because they are dry as they want to be. I also picked up, this is the Espresso Matte because sometimes I desire a brown liner and not a black liner. So there's that, gorgeous. And I can't, they're so soft and creamy. And then of course I picked up the um, Black Matte as well, it's particularly for a smudgy liner. I, I wish I could explain to you how, I'm like I'm barely touching my, look how black that is. Oh, I am so excited about these. So excited. So nobody influenced me on these. I saw these in the store and was like, yes, honey. Now, they say that they are waterproof. I am normally not a fan of waterproof eye anything. However, if my main goal is to use these like on the waterline or to smudge them out, I can see that being valuable. So 
picked up these and because these are Sephora collection, these were 30% off and they were only $14 each. So $14 and you're getting them for 70% off. What is that? Dollar forty two eighty three twenty. Like these were like $10 and some change. So love these. And then last but not least, I was influenced. Oh, let me just show you one last time those. And they, they had so many other colors that I could have gotten, but I was like, Evelyn, this is enough. Um, so, but they come off, like I'm, I'm taking them off with a makeup wipe. And so there it's coming off. Um, I mean, you got to do a little bit of agitation, but off. Okay. And then last but not least, I was influenced. I was watching Glam Girl Chelsea and she was talking about the Sephora liquid matte lips. Now I, I am a clear color bomb kind of girly. However, in the winter time, there are times where I do want a matte lipstick. And back in the day there, I used to rock this Kat Von D uh, matte lips, liquid lipstick all the time. I loved it. And I was looking at some of my old videos where I had it on and I was like, girl, I missed that shade. I also have a matte brown lipstick from Lisa Eldridge that I enjoy. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I could get something similar in kind of a thinner formula. So I picked up two shades of the Sephora Collection um, Cream Lip Stain. And so one, y'all, I can't even hardly read the names of this. I'm going to have to look at the receipt. But this is like a pinky red and this is like a deep matte brown. So let me swatch these for you on my hand. And I tried both of these on last night and I loved them. Okay. Love, love, love. Look at these two shades. Look at, look at that. Pinky red, matte brown, kind of neutral, not too cool tone, not too warm tone. Um, gorgeous. And I, I still put a little bit of a dark brown liner on with this one. Not because I need it, but if I don't, it gives me slightly concealer lips. Just brown girl version. Um, pick these two up, right? So love those. Now I'm just going to share with you a couple of other things that I have picked up. Uh, they weren't part of the Sephora sale, but I done picked them up recently and here we are. So I also recently I went and picked up a, a, a pure color eliminating shine sheer shine lipstick from Estee Lauder in the shade Astonishing. And that's what I've been wearing all throughout the video. I have on no liner. Uh, no gloss, just th just this. And we're we sleeping on Estee Lauder. Look at this packaging. Look at this packaging. Look 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 at the look at the magnetic closure. The skinny bullet. Okay, this is the color. I'm gonna swatch it right underneath the um, Sephora, so you can kind of get a feel of that how pinky red it is. This is almost like the sheer version of that. Look at that. So I picked that up. I don't know if Sephora sells these, but y'all, I, I know people try to put Estee Lauder and Lancome and all these different brands in like the old lady category, but babe, there's a reason they've been around for a while because the products, like one of my favorite foundations is still Dupperware. I don't care what the girlies say, it's still bomb. One of my favorite powder foundations is Double Wear. Like my favorite... Um, eyeshadow, I, I mean, mascara primer is Lancome. So pick this up, loving that. And then, um, I was at Home Goods, TJ Maxx Home Goods the other day. I know y'all. I picked up the Origins. Um, this is the Into the Glow Brightening Serum. I've already finished a bottle of this before. I got this for $25 and I think this is normally like 50 something dollars. So, um, I, I love this. I don't do a whole lot of serums. My skincare routine is very, very simple. Let me know if you ever want me to do a skincare video because y'all going to be disappointed. Because uh, it's so simple and the products are so simple. I did order a little something fancy from the sale. Okay, so that'll be in the next haul. But pick this up for like half price off. And I was like, shout out uh, to Home Goods for having this for the Lola. Well, the last time I got it, I also got it for the Lola, but I got it from the cosmetic company outlet store. So pick that up. And then I use this brand's, um, I use their 
shower oil a lot and so i saw they had this coconut water moisture cream and so i was like you know what my the 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 form of ola henderson um moisturizer that i use i cannot find i use i use the one in the blue container i don't know where it went so i thought i'd try this right and i got this for 9.99 and i think this is normally like 20 something 30 something dollars so got that for ten dollars and then y'all know I love their um, body butter. So I picked up three of these. Because I, you know, I be going through them. I picked up three of these and I paid $16.99 for each one of these. And they are normally like $32 or $34. So anyway, y'all, that is my initial Sephora sale haul. I did a little damage. Um, there are some things that I have bought in the meantime that I haven't hauled, but we'll do a couple of get ready with me is a couple of playing with new makeup videos, all that kind of stuff. I wanted to show you these liquid lipsticks when they dried down. Stunning. Stunning. And then the shine on that one. So that's it. Let me know. Did you participate in the sale? Are you going to participate in the sale? Do you want to participate in the sale? Are you skipping the sale? Um, or let me know if you picked up anything, got it in your cart, it's on the way. Let me know. I've got just a few more, just a few more goodies coming, but then I'm officially done. So anyway, y'all, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.